Yeah. It does kind of look like him. Huh? Uh, KK was talking about that skull painted over there. She says it reminds her of a Trollgate boss monster. Let's hope it's not based on a monster from anywhere else. I traveled up the mountain of glass to the man who looks down upon high. But he sent me away, he gave me a pass. So now I drink coffee and sigh. I saw a pink dog by the side of the road. He looked up and gave me a wink. Then I helplessly watched as I saw him explode. I may have been dreaming, I think. The colors, the colors, green, blue, and red. All mixed up within the same pot. I lifted it up and poured it on my head. Pleasant feeling? I think not. Over the sea, I flew, I flew. To the girl with the golden drum. She could not help me, I knew, I knew. But flying is just so much fun. One fine day, day, day. I went to town, town, town. But I didn't stay, stay, stay. Cause I ripped my gown, gown, gown. Over and under, the seagull went. <sighs> Do you mind? Can't you say I'm... Wait, Alden, is that you? Sorry, what did you say? You heard me. You're supposed to be dead. That name. How do you know that name? You're kidding, right? I know all about you. Alden the Destroyer. Alden the Deathbringer. No, no. Alden was my great-grandfather. I'm nothing like him. Oh, well, you look exactly like him. You shouldn't do that. It's rude. You didn't answer my question. How do you know that name? Why does it matter? Because we're with the unavowed. Oh, well, I'm tired. I'm going to sit down. You want to talk? Come on by. How on earth? Wait, the muse you met last year? That was her? So why didn't she recognize you? Very strange. And she knows who Alden is. That alone isn't good. Not good? Why? It's not important. At least not right now. I think we need to speak to her. As soon as possible. Hi everyone! I'm Callie. Or did we go through this already? That name. Alden. How do you know it? Well come on! When you spread fire and death to a hundred villages, it tends to inspire people. His face was in hundreds of nightmares for generations. I saw them all. You... See dreams? I'm a muse. Duh. It's kind of what I do. Or I did, anyway. I kind of lost my power. You what? How did that happen? Some guy took it. Hey, you should order a cappuccino. They draw these little heart shapes with the milk. It's amazing. Nope. Never seen you before. Zach, the playwright? He was killed. Stabbed in the throat by one of the actors. The blood went everywhere. Almost splattered my new dress. No, you're wrong. The guy was about your height. He had your hair color and had kind of your build. But nope, definitely wasn't you. Nope. He's wearing a veil. You can't see past it, can you? You really did lose your power. Yep, I'm mundane as tree bark. Yeah. I think we already established that we've met before. Not personally, but I was summoned by the survivor of a village he destroyed. He wanted to write of his experience, as a warning to others. But he was scared. He couldn't muster up the inspiration to start writing. 
And you helped with that? Yeah, kinda. Kinda? He kept reliving the murder of his family over and over in his mind, and in the end, he threw himself into the sea. Jesus. It happens. The creative force can destroy some people. I'm glad I'm done with it. It's open mic night. I'm open micing. Been spending all my time taking in the local art scenes. This is my way of giving back. Giving back to the creative force, trying to balance the scales. I'm not really good at it, but the point is to try. And freeform poetry is fun. Bye. Stick around if you want to hear more poems. For some reason, fewer people come here than they used to. So I have the place to myself. So, I'm a dead ringer for my insane, evil fire mage ancestor. That's just great. Were you and Kalash close? Me and Kalash? No, not really. Although I kind of do owe him everything. You owe him? Yeah. When I came into my power, he saved my sanity. Probably my life. He didn't seem the nurturing type. No, he wasn't. He was impossible. Never met me halfway. Never gave me an inch. It was... Exactly what I needed. Sounds like my old sponsor. Sometimes you get lucky. Yeah, lucky. Looking good there, Junie. No, it's not right yet. Uh, of course it isn't. <laughs> hey, nice to see you. I'm not the only crazy one out here tonight. Well, at least I've got a reason. I'm only out here because the little boss here wants to draw. She's my daughter. It amounts to the same thing, doesn't it? <laughs> Ain't that the truth. A boss who makes you do overtime and doesn't pay you. See, this guy gets it. You have kids? Oh, uh, yeah. Two girls. Grown now. Two bosses, huh? Must have been rough. It had its moments. Little June here got inspired. What can I say? I tell her no and she screams all night. So I give her a half hour and we're both happy. Besides, she has a talent. I need to encourage it. Nobody else is gonna. She's a lucky little girl. You're a good mother. Darn right I am. It's been two hours, I think. I'm sure June will get tired any minute. <laughs> yeah, like that'll work. I know, right? A pen and paper would be, you know, logical. And kids always listen to logic. <laughs> Don't get me started. Nice to meet you. I'm May Stein. See you around. If you guys want to do any more chatting in the rain, feel free. You have called, and I have answered. But I feel no creative desire within your soul. Inspiration will not help you. Somehow I strongly doubt that. I am several thousands of years old. Now what do you want? What do you mean? Stay back. Was that Callie? The lady from the Poetry Club? You think so? The woman in the Poetry Club sounded, you know, perky. She said she lost her power. Maybe it changed her personality, too. Good. You're okay. Let's keep going. We need to get to the bottom of this. Hey, mister, could we talk to you for a sec? Hey, it's been a while, hasn't it? A while? Oh, oh, wait, wait no. no. You're not her. I'm not? Jesus, not, not you. you. Oh, you mean KK. She, she can talk can for talk herself. herself. Yeah, believe me, I know. 
So I'm Logan Brown, and you already met KK. Who are you? It's, it's not, not important. important. Not really. really. Of course it's important. It's your name. No, no it's no, not. not. The work needs to stand on its own. Attaching a name to it just diminishes it. You mentioned the work. What work? The work. The art. The everything. It all has to come out somehow, otherwise you might as well die. So you're an artist? Me? I suppose. I want to be. I'm learning. Learning every day. So who did you mistake KK for? Huh? When we first met, you thought KK was her. I, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, of course you don't. So what is this thing here? Thing? This metal thing. Looks like some kind of modern art. Sorry, I don't see anything. It's not exactly hard to miss, man. It's kind of huge, and it's right here. No, I don't see anything. Sorry. So what are you doing out here? I'm working. Working? Like maintenance work or something? Something like that. You're not going to get any more specific than that? Don't see why. Don't you think it's time we head home, Junebug? Five more minutes. Mm, fine. Five more minutes. I can't ask him that. Huh? What is it? KK's wondering if you guys thought about buying a computer. What? Restoring all our data on? We've considered it. We haven't done it yet. Uh, no. She wants to see Troll Game on a bigger screen. Oh, uh, maybe someday. Got some wet ones here, Chipman. Huh? Oh, hey. Welcome and stuff. Jesus, Chipman. Wasn't for me, you wouldn't sell anything. Evening, folks. <sighs> I know. Chipman's got the art bug. Guess you gotta know your market. The food's still the best, though. Can't argue with quality. I just wish he'd, you know, focus. Best in the city. Try it. Seriously. Chipman's an artist. A real one. Rainbows or no rainbows. Not that anyone would know it, the guy knows nothing about promoting himself. Seriously, where have you been? Some idiot set himself on fire, built some weird metal altar to do it on, too. The weird thing? He did it in the middle of the night. No witnesses. Some poor jogger found him the next morning. You're not the first to say that, actually. He's like some kind of local folk hero now. Folk hero? Yeah, the folks who live here, they think it's some kind of, I don't know, artistic statement or whatever. But you ask me, he was just a nut. I don't know, what else could it be? This frickin' neighborhood. Draws them in like flies and honey. Draws what in? Artists. They've been coming out of the woodwork, causing all sorts of trouble. Forget the drug dealers. It's the artists you gotta worry about. <laughs> you have no idea. Just last week, in this very spot, I had to drag some guy out in cuffs. There was this rider on his laptop. His battery ran out of juice, so he freaked. Smashed his laptop against the table, then started punching people. I wish I could say it was an isolated incident, but it's been happening all over the neighborhood. Sorry, but why are you so interested? I'm sorry about your friend, but surely there's someone assigned to that case. My only advice would be to talk to them. Stay dry out there. Huh? Oh, oh, hey, you want something? I'm kind of busy. Fine, why does everybody keep asking me that? Hey, Chipman, you got paying customers. You want to stay open or what? Fine, 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 sorry. I swear to God, you'd be on the street if it weren't for me. 
I get it. Yeesh. Anyway, what can I do for you guys? <sighs> Nobody gets it. This is just the way it has to be, okay? Take it or leave it. Sure, here you go. That'll be five dollars. Just eat it slow, okay? And think about it while you eat it. Someone died? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Sure, bye. Colored bagels, flavored bagels, scooped out bagels with weird filling. Whatever happened to just buying a plain old bagel? They sure smell good though. That's totally besides the point. Good evening to you. You gents seem to be lost. Maybe I can help? <laughs> I knew it. You're walking the streets in the rain, and yet you stop to talk to an old man at the side of the road. Nobody with a destination in mind would do that. Huh, clever. No, I just read people. It's the old artist in me, I suppose. Me? Oh, I was a painter. A past tense, I'm afraid. My muse has long since left me. So now I sit here and talk to fine folks like you. I don't have to worry. If I had a muse, she's long since moved to someone else. Yes, I've seen it. The neighborhood used to house quite a vibrant community of artists. They're all gone now. They got priced out, or they got kicked out, or they died out. I thought I'd be the only one left. But now, look around. The real heart and soul of Brooklyn is coming back. And it is magnificent. For you, perhaps, I'm quite cozy here. And you meet the most interesting people in the rain. Folks like yourself, for example. Pleasure. Welcome to the neighborhood. I'm Stanley Bates. You mean the sculpture that was erected in the middle of the night? Magnificent, isn't it? Art that just appears for seemingly no reason. That kind of thing just doesn't happen anymore. Does this old heart good to see? I don't know. To tell you the truth, I have not given it much thought. But the energy it brings, the vibrant life. This world can use more of that, let me tell you. I heard. Fascinating. Fascinating? A man died. Well, it is. Why there? Why in the middle of the night? The act of immolation is violent, painful. One doesn't do that to themselves unless they want to make a statement. And yet, it was done in the middle of the night. Nobody could see or hear him. So yes, I'd call that fascinating. What was the man trying to say? We'll never know. As I said, we'll never know. The man was inspired. We never know where it comes from or why it comes. It just is. And that's all we can say about any artistic act. It just is. 